Yes. My dad was actually a radio man for several years at FRCN. Listen to record after record, J. Cliff, the Everly Brothers, Davey, I like to see S. Yeah, uh, Shanice, your mouth is uh, moving a lot like a rat. Shut it, place. The Man of God was a movie I did not think I would watch. And I don't know if you guys know this, but I hardly watch movies. So my introduction to this movie was weird and traumatic for me. My sister told me to watch it. And I was like, okay, maybe I will check it out. She joked me and said, please watch it. So I did. I'm still traumatized by it. So I watched it and for you to hear my own opinion, let's have a small montage. The movie takes no time to set a mood of depression. We get introduced to the main character Samuel, who is this child and is bored of being in church. But this is bad for him because his dad is a pastor, so that doesn't mix well. The first few scenes are just messy. His back is constantly used to remind Christians about that spare the rod, spoil the back line in the Bible. He makes a promise that every child at one point in Nigeria has made, and that is they would leave the house and they would never come back. <laughs> but this time he did it differently because he never came back and some people would think oh now he's going to become a doctor and his dad is going to regret now nah, he became a bootleg fella Please everybody bring out your anointing oil and let us pray. After this, we jump into the future. Samurai, yes, I'm going to call him Samurai because uh, when I put Samo, my autocorrect changed it to Samurai. So that's going to be his new name. Get used to it, guys. But the shocking turn of events, Samurai yeah, is doing well for himself. He gets all the ladies and also all the men. Hey guys, it's 2022, you can't judge. <laughs> but don't get it wrong, Jack here isn't made yet. He's a student and he has more carryovers than I had. And I had a lot, so you know he's in trouble. Well, we had that tutorial. It's fine, I'm not angry. I mean, if you want to fail Dr. Dede's quest again, He's also dating his backup dancer and singer that loves him so much and does more than the ordinary babe in uni should do. She feeds him, sleeps with him, makes money for him. So their love is weird and I surprisingly want it. I actually need it in my life. She loves him but hates that his friend Teju, the church babe aka fellowship because this chick had the word fellowship in every sentence in this whole movie. I was amazed. I hope to see you at the next fellowship. Sam, fellowship. We're going to be late for fellowship again. But the problem is that fellowship likes Jack, and I understand she likes bad boys. And if that's not bad enough, she brought the love of his life to him on a platter of gold, who is this babe named Joy. And because of this, we have this weird triangle, because she likes him, he likes her, she likes God, she likes him and can't stand her, and she likes God and fellowship. <laughs> <laughs> so at this point, we already know he likes Joy. But you see, Joy is different from every other Christian you see. She's not like Fellowship. She's open-minded. She listens to godly music like Booty Don't Lie, an original classic by Wacko's Review. You guys can check it on the Apple Podcasts. I don't know what I'm saying at this point. <laughs> and I think that's the only thing they have in common. In this scene here, yeah, he doesn't understand why he likes her. He normally goes for babes with big booties. The ones that when they enter inside the room, their ass is still outside because both of them can't be in the same place at the same time. I really liked how this movie paid homage to the old Nollywood days where in the past when you want to get a girl in uni you stalk her in an unhealthy way and hopefully she falls for you because that's what you call plot armor and progression the story has to go on she's going to maintain maintain politics the, the political situation of, of the country right now hey Felda Felda will fire you we finally get an insight to what Rex or Rex, I don't know her name, does for a living. And it's drugs. I know you thought it was prostitution, but you're also not wrong. She also does that on the side. 
you can never have too many side businesses guys john on the other hand has completely changed jack from how he used to be to a new brother a brother in the law but a new hurdle would come which is the original school pastor those guys can't stop themselves from advising people that the way you are going doesn't lead to the light and they're always trying to hook people up these guys are low-key pimps but he did not just tell her that jack is bad for her he also tried to hook her up with this other pastor straight out of the Playboy Pastor Edition. <laughs> that joke was funny, I know, guys. But his muscles wanted to tear his suit. That, 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 it's too buffed, guys. It's too, it's too buffed. What is going on? And oh, of course. Um, brother Sar. Uh, hi, nice to meet you, brother. Oh now, I don't really like all these kinds, all these kinds this day. And sadly, it worked. Joy graduated and put Jack on this spam email for like four months. Baba just is sent email to God knows who. She ends up marrying the gym bro, and I won't blame her. She found a gym bro that loves church like her. Half of the ladies watching this video would do the same thing, and I don't blame you. That's why we we, we even the odds by cheating on you. <laughs> But for him to recover from this breakup, he needed fellowship. Yes, like actual fellowship and also fellowship. Um, that's her. Don't get confused, guys. We find out that they got married and the movie should end here. But you see, Jack might seem happy in church, but he is depressed. He doesn't like fellowship and he doesn't like fellowship his wife. Don't get it twisted, guys. And he still loves Joy only because he never got closure. Think about it. If what she did to him, they did it to you, you would break. And this lady isn't helping matters. Good morning. Minister Sammy. Yes, ma'am. Bishop Shia. Guys, <laughs> I don't know what I said. I was here. Oh, guys, if you guys got to this point, subscribe because I have a present for you. I am married. I got married two weeks ago, and if you want me to post my wife, subscribe and turn on post notification. You know what? I love you guys so much that I'm going to even show my wife, regardless. That's how. I know. I know. I got me. I got me some beautiful thing. <laughs> Okay, this is the part that trouble starts piling up for Jack. So he gets called out for sexual misconduct in the church. Apparently, Baba they knock some kind babes for church and he got someone pregnant. Guys, what if I told you I don't blame him? I know you are angry, but listen to me. This right here is the Achilles heel of a strong man. We are potent and it's unhealthy. I fear that one small cheat on my wife and bam, we are breaking the record for having quadruplets. <sighs> from three different women. Rex comes back to town and they meet for the first time after nine years. And she gives him this advice to get into ministry and extort all the money from the church industry. And he did it, like a fool. Ted, you I just heard from God. He called my name three times. Samuel, Samuel, Samuel. Why you don't call me now? They come up with this name called Vinland of Love Ministries. <laughs> They got like this small space and bam again, the money starts coming in. But as soon as the good things happen to him, the bad starts creeping in. It's like a pattern at this point. So apparently the chick that got pregnant for him, in the process of removing the child, she lost it and lost herself. She lost both of it. <laughs> God, please forgive me, it's a joke. So her sister took it as a challenge to take him down. That Mr. King forced your sister to have an abortion against her will. Then we have a case, not with word of mouth. But and uh, we won't see this babe again for the rest of the movie, I think. So back to Jack. He makes so much money, expanded his business, got a new house that has an upstairs. That's sick. An upstairs? Does your house have an upstairs? He doesn't. So shut up. And I don't know how he made that 50 million. Rex just wired him money. Maybe I missed something. I'm confused. Thank God I'm not like a movie reviewer that should know all these things, guys. <laughs> and I would like, I love this scene. Maybe it's because it's the crazy in me speaking. Seeing the smile on Jack's face, knowing that he's way richer than Joy's husband. This is Sam. Zach, you're the sound engineer. <laughs> no, so He's a family mad. Uh, I love you, stupid. There's this saying I live by. If the trouble is too big, make it bigger. 
it would even the odds. Jack obviously likes this saying, so he starts toasting Joy again. And it failed. And I won't lie, this chick is like a groupie for pastors. Yes, I said it, guys. She's a groupie. Just say you're a pastor and Baba, they smile. You can get her easily. <laughs> Okay, let's finish this first. He gets a visit from his brother, which I won't lie, I hated. He told him that their mom died and his strong head added to her death. Let me not lie, um, that was a useless opinion. Nobody needed that. The mom died because she married a useless man. Yes, I said it. I need you to understand. Okay, me leaving the ministry had, it had nothing to do with... No one gives a rat's ass about these guys again. Get them out of my screen. Rex dies and loses all her money in the drug ring. Jack tried to leave the country to Canada. Fellowship did not like that at all. I have the power to destroy you. Is that not the king of boys music? Yeah? Uh, that sounds like King of Boys music. Fellowship snitches to the police and they cut and sent Baba to prison. Some years go by after he has served his time, he comes back to his father's church, begs for forgiveness and that's all. The movie ended. How do I feel about it? I am mixed, guys. You see, the early stages of this movie felt so good and new and refreshing only because it just reminded me of those cult movies in the old days. Blackberry Babe style of movies. Even if the topic is something everyone in Nigeria understands because we've all been caned at the particular point in our life and we hated our parents. I feel they missed the mark with the ending. In no way do I believe that Jack is innocent. I have even called him out so many times for being plain old dumb throughout the review. But you guys can't tell me his mom dying was on him. If he acted childish, I expect the parents to act mature. She would have gone to meet him, but no! Baba was looking for permission like this is 1921. I'm so triggered, guys. I've been having conversations about this. Why he did not ask for forgiveness was because as a child, he was traumatized for so long and he wanted to leave his oppressors, guys. He wanted to leave his oppressors. The movie missed the mark in so many ways and Jack was and is still useless, no doubt. But you can't say his dad did not add to the version of the Jack we saw. If they did a part two, I would really love to see what happened to his dad, like his upbringing, because obviously his upbringing was bad and heartless. <laughs> what are your thoughts? Let's talk down below. I know this is going to be topical, and I really want Rex in my life, guys. <laughs> Rex dies. Rex. Rex dies. Rex. I don't. What's be her name again? Rex dies. Rex dies. <laughs> I'm just be sure about this. I'm not sure if it's actually the man of God. <laughs> I want to be sure if that is the name because I, I wanted to call it a man of God. So I just want to be sure, guys. This is before I even start. Can you even imagine? Ah, my, my internet is bad. I don't know how long it's going to take me to record this whole thing. Is it a man of God or the man of God? Yeah. I got this piece I wrote for you, though. I hope you miss you well, man. I've been penning wise on cruises, blade, then acting like a fool, man. I got problems, man, when you do. I got moments in my life that I regret when I reflect on, but I still gotta face it head on. I've been laughed at, I've been mocked at, I got stories that touch. It ain't too much, but I keep a few so I don't forget where I'm from. Couple deceased from where.